My name is Chandra Gupta. I work for ADI. At this station, we are going to show you gallium nitride power amplifiers. So in this particular station, in the center, we show a 2 to 18 gigahertz amplifier producing 100 watts, CW. In this particular case, there's a driver amplifier, as you can see at the bottom here. It produces enough power to drive nine of the gallium nitride amplifiers which are all around this power divider which you see at the top in the center. The power is then amplified and is combined in a power combiner which is right underneath the power divider you see here. And we get 100 watts coming out at the output port. This is a passive demo. We are showing an active demo. In this particular case, we produce 12 watts across the band, 2 to 18 gigahertz. We use our signal generator and we drive this amplifier 2 to 18 gigahertz. The power is then produced 12 watts, which is attenuated through a series of attenuators by 60 dB. And that power is displayed on this spectrum analyzer. And you can see the signal stepping through 2 to, 8, 2 to 18 gigahertz. The other example we have of this power amplifier is 29 to 31 gigahertz. In this particular case, we power combine several devices, like you can see here through using Wilkinson dividers. The power is then produced and amplified. It is then gathered using hybrid T's, which you see underneath. We power combine and produce the power output at 10 watts when we use p hamped gallium arsenide p hamped devices. If we substitute gallium arsenide devices with gallium nitride devices, we can produce 25 watts at the output. Thank you for watching, and please go to our website, analog.com, where you can see our 5,000 other projects as well. Thank you.